what is going on everybody born at ak hockey and in this video we're going to talk about justin herbert versus joe burrow yesterday who was the better quarterback let's try and take this from an objective impartial view so let's get right into it guys so justin herbert yesterday was 26 of 35 317 yards three touchdowns one interception while joe burrow was 24 of 40 300 yards one touchdown two interceptions so immediately on the surface like justin herbert i think this game was very different it was that both quarterbacks were very inconsistent justin herbert started out hot had a poor second half missed on a few throws joe burrow had that terrible inner uh, end zone pick to chris harris jr that was terrible so both made some bad plays both made some spectacular plays you know justin herbert 61 and a half yard air pass to jalen gun even though it was underthrown it was a huge bomb joe burrow's pass to t higgins for the touchdown beautiful had some zip he had jamar chase wide open for the touchdown beautiful ball uh, unfortunately it was dropped so i want to talk about each of these quarterbacks and who was better today and who i think is better long term you know i want to quickly you know i want to i want to you know voice my concerns and my annoyance with really just some people on on media like dan orlovsky on espn for example uh, i love dan awesome guy really good at what he does but he's trying to push this narrative right that joe burrow has this it factor he's trying to push this narrative where there's zero substance to it like, sure, you can push a narrative once there's substance to it. But at this point, because of all the Justin Herbert stands, like Max Kellerman and the Rex Ryan in the media, there has to be somebody else to take the Joe Burrow side for clicks, for ratings, ultimately resulting in what? Revenue. And I totally understand that from Dan Orlovsky's standpoint. But when he's saying, look at the tape, look at the tape, look at the tape, Burrow's the better quarterback. It's frustrating because he's trying to push this narrative that Joe Burrow has that it factor. He has that moxie that Herbert doesn't have. I mean, quite frank, you know, the most it factor I've seen out of these two all year was Justin Herbert taking his team back against the Cleveland Browns, all right? That was unbelievable. There's no it factor with, with Joe Burrow that I've seen yet, okay? So now when you look at both quarterbacks, kind of what happened? Joe Lombardi, you know, Rex Ryan even talked about this with Justin Herbert you know, Joe Lombardi is literally the one offensive coordinator that can hold Justin Herbert back. And he finally allowed him to take deep shots right after the the, the Burrow, the, uh, the strip sack fumble from Burrow. Justin Herbert takes a deep shot, right? A deep shot to Mike Williams. And, and, and here's Dan Orlovsky's, you know, argument. Yeah, well, Herbert's receivers were making good plays. He was giving them all 50-50 balls, where, whereas Joe Burrows were actually dropping them in middle coverage. Did you watch all the throws in that game? Even the Keenan Allen touchdown, Dan Orlovsky's like, where's the free safety? It's a great play design. And he finds Keenan with zip, with power. There's not many people that can get the ball from point A to point B like Justin Herbert. And man, that Jalen Guyton touchdown, yeah, it was underthrown. He threw that from the right hash of the field to the left hash of the end zone. That's a 40-something yard pass, but really traveled almost 65 yards in the air. There's no arm I'd rather have over Justin Herbert's in the National Football League with all of all the factors in, in included, you know, velocity, accuracy, zip, right? There's a difference between velocity and zip. The ball just, uh, it gets there. Listen, Joe Burrow is going to be an awesome quarterback in his own right. He has a great touch on the ball. I think he's more injury prone, it looks like, so far uh, than Justin Herbert, knock on wood. Um, you saw the finger even, you know, playing a role in that game i think joe burrow is susceptible to making some more mistakes and more turnovers but his offensive line is absolutely terrible right so it's hard to evaluate him as well his offensive line the chargers pass rush without even joey bosa got six sacks on joe burrow to the bengals four on justin herbert so who's the better quarterback i'm a Chargers fan of course i'm gonna go with justin herbert it's close but these are by far the two best quarterbacks in the class i really do believe justin herbert he has the poise he has the poise of a superstar quarterback he's not selfish all right he's a team player he wants to win he wants to learn and he'd love to stay in the pocket and he has started now joe burrow has beat him to this curve but herbert has started now to use his legs at his benefit at his will he knows when to escape the pocket he knows when to use his legs especially when the right side and left side of the line was not protecting him well in that second half slater got beat of course the right side got beat filer got beat but those are my thoughts on justin herbert joe burrow i want you to let hog know down below what your thoughts are on this front subscribe for year-round exclusive la chargers content it's been your boy hog and say it with me everybody i'm signing out peace